today I'm going to show you how to make this quick and easy creamy chicken fillet recipe. If you are new here, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell so you don't miss a single recipe from me. All the measurements will be available for you in the description box below. So I'm going to start off with about four chicken breasts, which I've sliced in the center and I have butterflied. And then I'm going to season those with some salt on both sides. Then I'm going to be placing my chicken inside my pot. If you do have a cast iron pot, I strongly recommend that you use that because we are going to be baking our chicken breast. So it will just make it much easier for you to not have to change to a bakeware. My pot is not um, oven safe. So then if you are not using an oven safe uh, pan, you can just follow what I'm doing exactly. So we're just going to be preparing our chicken um, by basically allowing it to cook through on both sides for about three minutes minutes on each side okay so once you're done with that we're just going to be removing our chicken pieces and placing them aside and then we're gonna move over and start preparing our creamy sauce for our chicken fillets okay so now I'm just gonna add some chicken stock into the pan that i was using to sort of cook my chicken in i've sort of tried to um dissolve my chicken stock in a little bit of warm water then i'm going to be adding some cream and then to that i'm going to be adding my spinach at this point so i like to add my spinach inside my sauce because i find that even when it cooks it doesn't like really like cook it away i don't know if i'm um, explaining it properly but if you prepare your spinach beforehand um it sort of loses some of its flavor in the process so i'm going to be adding my spinach now then to that i'm going to add some garlic flakes if you've got fresh garlic you're welcome to add that in there and then i'm also going to add some chives if you've got fresh chives you're also welcome to add them in there i'm going to give it a quick mix and then i'm going to allow that to come to a simmer while that is simmering i'm going to be preparing the thickening um sauce that i'm going to add which is just a mixture of full cream milk and some flour if you don't want to do this you can definitely um, do it with some cream of mushroom sauce and water of course so I'm going to be adding that into my pot I'm also going to give that a quick mix you'll notice that as you are mixing this your sauce will start to thicken obviously you don't want your sauce to be very thick and lumpy so you want to continue to mix it until it has sort of like thickened to a certain consistency if you're finding that it is becoming too thick I would suggest that you add a little bit of water no more than three tablespoons at a time i'm gonna allow that to simmer for about four minutes before i proceed to the next step okay so after about four minutes of simmering my sauce has also thickened up i'm going to be adding my chicken pieces back into my pot this is a step for the people who are going to be using a cast iron pot but if you're not using a cast iron dish you can transfer it to a baking dish like i did and then what i'm going to be doing now is i'm going to be adding some toppings i started off with some um, chili flakes just to give my chicken a little bit of a heat and then i'm going to be adding some feta cheese on top and then last but not least i'm going to be adding a little bit bit of parsley and then we're basically going to be taking um, this dish and placing it in a preheated oven at 180 degrees for 15 to 20 minutes or until your feta cheese has melted through on the top and that is it it's a quick and easy recipe um, it's nice and creamy it's also good for sharing um, if you did like this video don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell so you don't miss a single recipe from me comment in the comment section what you would likely serve this dish with and like this video I'll definitely see you guys next time. Bye.